Well, how are you doing, everybody? Um, well, I just finished all the miniatures I did for the Here There Be New Monera um, video I did a while back. In addition to that, I got three more miniatures to add that I painted as well that I'll show off here. So let's begin. Here we got the female glaive. Um, no, no, it's not a glaive. This is a jack. This is a female jack. Um, these are all based on the paintings from the Numenera book, so I most of these I painted as they originally were, more or less. A few differences here and there. Uh, her arm is has a piece of a Numenera, which projects this little energy weapon. It can serve as an extra hand or a weapon of some kind. So, pretty nifty there. So, just put her back here. We'll go to the next one. Another female character here. This, this is the glaive with the katana. The original painting this was has the katana here along her back, but it's more or less the same. And I was trying to give her a darker skin tone, but I don't think it truly worked out that best. Still all right, but not my best. So there you go. So not bad, not bad. And here we got another female glaive. This you know this is a female glaive with axe. And interesting enough, you see in the um, in the painting, it either looks like there's metal or gla a sort of glass-like structure crawling going on her arm and on her knee. So, as sort of painted that in silver, that's something you could someone have when you make your character um, in the game. All right, and then here we got here we got a jack. Jacks are, you know, in case you're in the game Numenera, they're the jack of all trades. They can serve as thieves, spies, or um, sort of a variety of things. And this one's wearing a, a, a mask. I put, I paint the mask silver with some blue ink. I paint this one close to pretty much um, as he was in the original painting. Most of these I do that. But, you know, I made an exception, which is this glaive right here. This is a male glaive. The original painting had him dressed all in red. I decided he probably looks well in green. So I did just that. Oops. So there you go. Okay, you know, he has like a double bladed weapon. Well, I'm quite satisfied with the results of this one. Alright. And here we got the Jack uh, in a turban. As it was called as it was called in the um, on the website. Pretty satisfied the way this guy turned out. Looks like a happy-go-lucky fella. All right, and that's the single character models. Here we got to the bigger ones right here. Uh, here we got a rest store. Oops, sorry. <laughs> sort of a winged bat-like mount. Now the wings right here, uh, you know, I'm not disappointed of, but you know, they, from based on the paint, original painting this was from, they probably could have given this a, um, well not see-through wings, but um, maybe a attachable plastic that gives a more translucent look. But then again, my painting for painting wings like that, not that you know, skillful. Then we got the writer. So yeah, not bad, not bad. Maybe one of these days he'll come with a Kai Drake. Next one is one of the monstrous adversaries you can find, and what you know, you know, call it Ithsin, so a reptilian, fish, bird-like type of monstrosity. So, yeah, not much to say about that. Now the next ones here, um, the next couple I'm going to show you are two versions of the same character to a game called Corvus, Corvus Belly Infinity. It is a science fiction skirmish game, not related to Numenera at all, but I got them because they're so neat and because of the character I'm interested in. And you know, it is this, this is one of them, this is uh, Musashi Miyamoto. Many of you are familiar with Japanese history, that is the guy named from the famous Ronin of um, of Samurai um, stories, who created, who wrote the book Go Rin No Show, Book of Five Rings. In this, in this game, apparently, after looking through um, their website and all that, they have many characters 
named after mythology or historical figures. Again, Musashi Mimoto, there's also an Achilles, Omoya Mollus, that sort of thing. So a futuristic like samurai, um, you know, got a gun underneath his um, shoulder. I think I was very impressed by the Hakama pants I did here. As well, really like how those turned out. You know, he's got a you know nice round hat. Can't see his face too well because of the lighting and all that, but it's kind of the point. It gives this sort of a serious look. Now, that's one version of him. The second version of him, again, same miniature, so you're just going to choose the one you want. This one, I definitely like this one much more. Again, I like the way the Kahakama pants turned out. I mean, I like his pose and everything. His face turned out well. I just thought they were so neat, so I'll be trying to link them down below in case you're interested, it's along with all Numenera ones. Now the last one here is from my previous video of Apex Theropod deck builder game. With it came a a um, 80 millimeter T-Rex that served as a player marker that came unpainted and broke, but I fixed that. I fixed that quite nicely. So here he is, all painted up. There he is. And yes, I was quite satisfied with the results. So yes. I don't know if this model came complete. I think its front teeth are broken. No, I didn't realize that till afterwards. But it's not not detracting, you know. T Rex loses his teeth all the time. But you know, it is what it is. Um, the rock base right there. I put some little turf bushes right here and on the other side. Give it a little green. The underside went well. You know, painted its scars quite nicely with scratches. There's also some on the other side. Gave it sort of an orange feathers and sort of green striping. Gave it a golden brown colorations. I painted a golden brown of one paint bottle, then and painted a toffee on the other side. Then I put a brown ink on top of the whole thing. Highlighted it with a, a lighter shade of golden brown or, bron or bronze skin. So give it a highlight there so you can see the muscle mass and everything. And I put a, a bone white or bleach bone from Games Workshop on the on the bottom here. So yes, very nice, very nice decorative model. Well here you have it. These are all the miniatures I painted so far of this one batch. And I'm quite impressed with most of them how they turned out with, not overly disappointed. I think some of this here and there is not my overly best work, but I am overall with the results. And I will present a slideshow here, although bear in mind, unlike my usual format, some of the pictures I have um, of the before or after they were painted, I can only do that for the uh, Musashi Mimoto and the T-Rex. The rest of the photos I've lost when I reformatted my computer. But I'll present them all the same. I'll list them down below of all the miniatures, you know, except for the T-Rex, you have to get the Apex Theropod Deck Builder Game 2nd Edition in order to get that. Unless you find a special deal, but so far, oops, move my camera a bit, but there you go. Enjoy the slideshow. Thank you very much for watching. Y'all have a nice day. <laughs>